So in this video, we are going to focus on partial fractions. We are going to learn how to decompose or split a rational function into smaller fractions. Now assuming that we have two fractions, 2 over x plus 1, and then 1 over x minus 2, assuming that we want to add these two fractions. Now the first thing we are going to do is to find the LCM. The LCM between x plus 1 and then x minus 2 is x plus 1 times x minus 2. Now we are going to divide x plus 1, x minus 2 by each of the factors. So x plus 1 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 1. x plus 1 cancels out x plus 1 and we are left with x minus 2. So this becomes 2 times x minus 2 plus x minus 2 cancels out x minus 2. We are left with x plus 1. So that is 1 times x plus 1. Now let's multiply across. So this becomes 2x minus 4 plus x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 x minus 2. We can further simplify 2x plus x is 3x negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So we have 3x minus 3 over x plus 1 x minus 2. Now the reverse process of splitting this rational function into smaller fractions or its component fractions is what we call resolving into partial fractions. Now let's split this rational function back into its component fractions. But before we do that, you realize that the denominator of this rational function is made up of linear factors. Now the denominator of a rational function is said to have linear factors if it can be factorized into two or more factors that can be expressed in the form ax plus b. Now in that case, the denominator of each of the factors is a constant if the function is to be resolved into partial fractions. Now what we are saying is that for this rational function that is 3x minus 3 divided by x plus 1 times x minus 2. Now the denominator of this rational function is made up of linear factors of the form ax plus b. Now in that case, the numerator of each of the factors that is x plus 1 and x minus 2 is going to be a constant if this rational function is to be resolved into partial fractions. So we can resolve this as a which is a constant over one of the factors x plus 1 plus b which is also a constant divided by the other factor which is x minus 2. So this is how to decompose or split a rational function which has its denominator made up of only linear factors. So we are going to find the LCM. So the LCM between x plus 1 and then x minus 2 is x plus 1 times x minus 2. x plus 1 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 gives x minus 2. So we have a times x minus 2 plus b. This cancels out this. We are left with x plus 1. So b times x plus 1. Now this is equal to the rational function 3x minus 3 divided by x plus 1, x minus 2. Now since the denominator is the same, we can equate the numerator to form the identity. So we have 3x minus 3 is equal to a times x minus 2 plus b times x plus 1. Next, we are going to find the values of a and b. Now to find the values of a and b, we are going to substitute any value of x into this identity such that one of the variables will become 0. So we can put x is equal to 2 here so that 2 minus 2 is 0 and then a goes to 0 so that we can find the value of b. 
so we put x is equal to 2 so if x is equal to 2 then we have 3 times 2 minus 3 is equal to a times 2 minus 2 plus b times 2 plus 1 3 times 2 is 6 minus 3 is 3 we have 3 equals this goes to 0 2 plus 1 is 3 times b is 3b so we divide through by 3 and then we have the value of b to be 1 now let's do same for a so for a we are going to put x is equal to negative 1 so if x is equal to negative 1 then we have 3 times negative 1 minus 3 equals a times negative 1 minus 2 plus b times negative 1 plus 1 so b goes to 0 we are left with 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6 equals negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 so negative 3 times a we divide through by negative 3 and then we have a to be equal to 2 therefore a is equal to 2 and then b is equal to 1 in that case the rational function 3x minus 3 divided by x plus 1 x minus 2 has been resolved into partial fractions as 2 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 2 now let's solve an example on this so for this example we are going to express 6x minus 23 divided by 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 as a partial fraction now for this rational function we have the denominator to be quadratic so we need to factorize the denominator now we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 the coefficient of the x squared term is 2 and the coefficient of the constant term is negative 2 now we multiply 2 by negative 2 and then we have negative 4 so we need to find the factors of negative 4 that adds up to 3 and then multiply to negative 4 so we can have negative 1 and then 4 so 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 can be expanded to have 2x squared minus x plus 4x minus 2 so we can factor out like things so we have x outside and then 2x minus 1 inside the bracket plus we have 2 outside and then 2x minus 1 also inside so this becomes x plus 2 2x minus 1 now these are the linear factors x plus 2 and then 2x minus 1 so the rational function 6x minus 23 divided by 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 becomes 6x minus 23 divided by we have the linear factors x plus 2 and then 2x minus 1 now because the denominator has linear factors then we can decompose this as a over x plus 2 plus b over 2x minus 1 where a and b are all constants now let's find the LCM so the LCM becomes x plus 2 2x minus 1 x plus 2 cancels out x plus 2 we are left with 2x minus 1 so we have a times 2x minus 1 plus b 2x minus 1 cancels out 2x minus 1 we are left with x plus 2 so b times x plus 2 and this is equal to 6x minus 23 divided by x plus 2 
2x minus 1. Now, since we have the denominator to be the same, we are going to compare the numerator or we are going to equate the numerator to form the identity. So this becomes 6x minus 23 is equal to a times 2x minus 1 plus b times x plus 2. Now we are going to find the values of a and b. So here we can put x is equal to negative 2 so that b goes away. So put x equals negative 2. We substitute negative 2 into this identity or into this equation. So this becomes 6 times negative 2 minus 23 equals a times 2 times negative 2 minus 1 plus b times negative 2 plus 2. So this becomes 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 minus 23 is negative 35. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 1 negative 5. So we have negative 5a and this goes to 0. We divide through by negative 5 by negative 5 and then we have a to be equal to 7. So the value of a is 7. Now let's find the value of b. So to find the value of b, we are going to put x equals 1 over 2. So put x equals 1 over 2. We are going to have 6 times 1 over 2 minus 23 is equal to a times 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1 plus b times 1 over 2 plus 2. 6 times 1 over 2 is 3. 3 minus 23 is negative 20. So we have negative 20 equals, this goes away, 1 over 2 plus 2 is 5 over 2. So we have 5 over 2 b. Here we can cross multiply so that we have negative 40 equals 5b. We divide through by 5 and then we have the value of b to be equal to negative 8. So the rational function 6x minus 23 over 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 can be expressed in partial fractions as 7 over x plus 2 minus 8 over 2x minus 1. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.